we're going to be going over the practice sheet for Ohm's Law. So um, whenever you're doing these works, these uh, problems, you need to remember your magic triangle. So the magic triangle has V up top, and then it has I and R. Remember the V is for voltage. The I is for current, which we measure in amps. Remember voltage is in volts. Current, which is I's and amps, and then resistance, we have ohms. So this is how you're going to find your formulas. All right, so number one says, what voltage produces a current of 100 amps with a resistance of 50 ohms? So the first thing we're going to write is no and need, because we need to determine what the question is giving us versus what we still need to find. Um, so we know that we have three variables in all of these equations that we're going to have to find. We have V, I, and R. So it says what voltage? Well, because it says what voltage, we automatically know that we're finding voltage because what voltage is a question. So that means we need voltage. So V is what we need. Produces a current of 100 amps. So current of 100 amps tells us that I equals 100 amps. And always remember to write your units because we don't like naked numbers. With a resistance of 50 ohms. So the resistance of 50 ohms is R equals 50 ohms. And remember ohms, we have this Greek symbol for omega that we use to represent ohms. So now we use our magic triangle to figure out our formula. You, fig you found what you need, and when you find what you need, you cover that up in your magic triangle, and it gives you your equation. So V equals I beside R. So we always rewrite the formula that we're going to be using. And because I is beside R, we know they're multiplying. So we fill it in with what we have. So, I is 100 amps times the 50 ohms. 100 times 50 is 5,000. So, V equals 5,000. Now, we're using voltage. So, our units for voltage are volts. And then we always circle our answer. So we're done with that problem. So now let's move on to number two. Number two says a 12 volt battery produces a current of six amps. What is the resistance? First thing we write is no and need. And the beginning says a 12 volt battery. Well, that 12 volt tells us that we know voltage which is 12 volts, produces a current of 6 amps. So we know that I equals 6 amps. What is the resistance? That means we're looking for resistance, so we need resistance. So because we need R, we go up here and we cover R up, and it gives us our formula. R equals V over I. So we rewrite our formula, R equals V over I. Because we are using a fraction, that means we're dividing. So that means V divided by I. V was 12 volts divided by I, which is 6 amps. So 12 divided by 6 is 2. And our units, since we're using resistance, is ohms. Then we circle our answer. Remember to always circle your answer. All right, on to the next one. So, number three. Silver has a resistance of 0 0.0198 ohms. What voltage would produce a current of 250 amps? So, we're going to write no and need, like always. 
and it says silver has a resistance of 0 0.0198 ohms. So resistance is 0 0.0198 ohms. So we know resistance. And then it says what voltage? Because it has that what in front of it, we know that we don't know it. So we need it. So voltage is what we need. And then it says produce a current of 250 amps. So current is 250 amps. Current is I. So 250 amps. We need to go to our magic triangle. We cover up what we need. It gives us our formula. V equals I beside R. We rewrite that. Because they're beside one another, they multiply. So I is 250 amps. R is 0 0.0198 ohms. When we multiply those together, we get 4.95. I'm finding voltage, so my units are volts. And I'm going to circle my answer. Number four. What is the current produced by a potential difference of 120 volts through a resistance of 0 0.8 ohms? We write our no and need. It says, what is the current? So we know that we need current because it says, what is the current? That's a question. So we need I. Produced by a potential difference of 120 volts. Well, even though it doesn't say voltage is, we know that volts is the unit for voltage. So that means we know voltage is 120 volts through a resistance of 0 0.8 ohms. So R, we know R, it's 0 0.8 ohms. We're going to go to our magic triangle, which I'm going to draw right over here. We need I, so I cover I up. So I've got V over R. So I equals V over R. Because we're in a fraction, we're dividing. So that means 120 volts divided by 0 0.8 ohms. When we divide that out, we get 150. The unit for current is amps. So we write that in, and then we circle our answer. Always, always, always circle your answer and put your units. Number five, what resistance would produce a current of 120 amps from a 6-volt battery? We write no and need. What resistance? Well, that's a question. So we know that we need resistance, which is R. We're produce a current of 120 amps, so I equals 120 amps from a 6-volt battery. So that means voltage is 6 volts. We need R, so we cover R up in our magic triangle. So R equals V over I. We fill it in, 6 volts over 120 amps. 6 divided by 120 is 0 0.05. We're solving for R. We know our unit for resistance is ohms. And we circle our answer. Okay. On to number 6. So, a current of 310 amps is flowing through a copper wire with a resistance of 30 ohms. What is the voltage? So we know and we need a current of 310 amps. Well, that automatically tells us current, so we know I equals 310 amps. Is flowing through a copper wire with a resistance of 30 ohms, so R equals 30 ohms. What is the voltage? That means we need voltage. We go to our magic triangle, cover up V. V equals I times R. I is 310 amps times 30 ohms. 
310 times 30 is 9,300. We're solving for voltage, so our units are volts, and we circle our answer. Number seven. A nine volt battery produces a current of 18 amps. What is the resistance? We know a need. A nine volt battery, that means we know voltage is nine volts, produces a current of 18 amps. So that means I equals 18 amps. What is the resistance? So we need R. R equals, we cover up our R, so we've got V over I, that's our formula. So voltage divided by current, so 9 volts divided by 18 amps. 9 divided by 18, we get 0 0.5, we're solving for R, so our units are ohms, and we circle our answer. Number eight, what resistance would produce a current of 350 amps with a potential difference of 2,500 volts? So we write no and need. What resistance? Well, that's a question, so that means we need resistance. Would produce a current of 350 amps. So that means I equals 350 amps with a potential difference of 2,500 volts. So voltage is 2,500 volts. R equals, we come up to our magic triangle, cover up R. We've got V over I. So V is 2,500 volts over I, which is 350 amps. 2,500 divided by 350 is 7.14. We're finding resistance, so that means our units are ohms.